Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over how to connect your Lear controller to your local Wi-Fi. So there's going to be two different ways of doing it. I'm going to show you both ways. One is going to be using the master code and the other one's going to be using the installer code. Now right now we have the default, uh, we have the Lear defaulted. So the master code is 1234 and the installer code is 4112. Though they're the default codes which will come with the default Lyric panel, unless you guys have changed them or your monitoring company has changed them. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is on the Lyric controller, go ahead and hit security, make your way over to tools. We're gonna to use the master code. This is gonna be the first way. So we're gonna enter in one, two, three, four. Once you're there, you can easily go into Wi-Fi config, bottom right corner. You're gonna hit scan access points. It's gonna take you to a screen. It already, it already may have some networks pulled up, but if you don't see yours, just go ahead and hit scan again. Just to refresh it, it'll bring up any networks that it picks up on. Now, one important thing with the Lear controller, it does only pick up on 2.4 gigahertz frequency. So if you have a router that only does five, that will not work. You wanna make sure that whatever Wi-Fi router you're using, it does transmit a 2.4 gigahertz frequency as that is what the Lear controller can connect to. Yes, so it cannot connect to five gigahertz. So after you've scanned, you see mine's already connected, but I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect just to show you guys. So I would highlight it. It's gonna highlight it blue, and then you hit edit on the bottom left. It's gonna have your SSID name. It's gonna have your WPA2, the security type, network type, and then password, this is where you're gonna to need to enter in your Wi-Fi password to connect. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the box. It's gonna pull up a keypad. You're gonna enter in your Wi-Fi password and then you're gonna hit save. Mine's already connected to it, so I'm just gonna back out of there, but your save would be to the bottom right. You hit save once you've entered it in. I'm gonna cancel out since mine's already in there. And then it would show your password there. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do it just for now. Give me a moment. So I'm gonna enter that in. save it'll have your password in there once you hit join it will start joining once it's connected su connected successfully the panel will say join successful S device has been successfully added to the network you're gonna go ahead and hit OK hit OK and then just hit the back arrow key all the way out to the home screen again so you back out and then the back button at the bottom right. Now if you look at the top left, it will have your Wi-Fi signal. Right now I'm getting three out of four bars. So that's the way to do it through the master code. If you were using the installer code, you have to go through a little more submenus, but it can still be done. I'll show you now. I would go to tools. Instead of entering in the master code, I enter in the installer code. Remember I have it defaulted at 4112. I go to program, I'm going to head over to com diagnostics, hit the um, configure Wi-Fi button, and then scan access points. And again, this is now we're basically in the same menus that we were when we were just doing it using the master code. So again, if you don't see it, you can hit scan. It'll scan for the local areas. If you don't see it on the first page, you can hit the down arrow key. You, there's there could be multiple pages so you want to go ahead and scroll through the pages mine's on the first page so again just highlight it blue hit edit type in the password hit join and then back out if you've joined it through the installer screen again back out all the way to the home screen yeah so it'll bring me here it's throwing up a com trouble because the panel's not registered I'm just gonna tap out of it so that's gonna be the easiest way to connect your layer controller to the Wi-Fi. Do keep in mind, it only connects to 2.4 gigahertz frequencies. I'm gonna repeat that one more time. 2.4 gigahertz frequency. So if your router does both, you wanna make sure that the 2.4 frequency is enabled so that you can actually connect your Lyric to the uh, Wi-Fi. Um, if you guys are using legacy IP cameras, uh, these are the old Honeywell IP cameras. You can actually stream those through the panel as long as they are both on the same Wi-Fi network. 
There's also a Lear Comb Controller app. Again, you do have to make sure that both the smartphone and the tablet or whatever smartphone or tablet device you're using is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the Lyric. But what the app does is it acts as an emulator for the screen. So it is a free app that you can find in your App Store or Play Store. All you got to do is download it. As soon as you open it, it's going to give you a couple of steps to follow. It's going to have you connected to the same Wi-Fi network. It's going to ask you for, uh, it's going to show up a code that you can enter in. That's to pair the Lyric controller to the iPad. Now this iPad is actually connected to another Lyric that we have here in the office, but just so you guys can see what it looks like, it emulates the same screen as the Lyric controller. You can go to security, it, it's gonna have the same thing. You can arm away, arm stay. If I did arm away, it would arm a different con controller, but the app basically emulates everything that you can do on the Lyric controller. The only thing that it will not do is the actual programming of the Lyric. So you can view and stream your old legacy IP cameras. You can control any Z-Wave devices that you have learned in. You can arm away, you can disarm, arm stay, arm night, whichever one you do the sites do. Um, but again, it does need to be on the same Wi-Fi network and it only works locally. So if you leave the house and you try using this app, it will not function as it should, as it only works locally. Um, if you guys wanted to control your system remotely, that would be Total Connect, which is included in most of our monitoring plans. And you can always find out more by contacting us. So again, guys, this is just a quick video on how to connect your Lyric controller to Wi-Fi. There's two ways of doing it, using the installer code and the master code. And there's a couple different screens which you guys saw, which I walked you through. If you guys do have any questions, you can always contact us at support at alarmgrid.com. Um, yeah, if you guys found this video helpful, make sure that you hit like underneath, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and enable notifications so whenever we upload new content, you guys do get notified. I'm George with Alarm Grid. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you next time.